Laisse-moi quitter le Hey what's up guys, it's me VVV Luffy M2 bringing you a gameplay commentary over Splinter Cell Blacklist. Um, I'm recording this on Tuesday, don't know when the hell I'm going to get this out because um, the problem with this game right now, this is my review, don't get me wrong, the problem with this review right now is that I cannot get any multiplayer footage due to the fact that I can barely ever find a game that is more than like 3v3, I like guess the fastest game I've found. I have, when I was in the beginning, I was able to play like the tutorial kind of multiplayer with other people who were low ranked, and like that game would start 2v1 stuff, and I would just dominate as a spy. Um, so if I was only recording that, that'd be perfect, but that wasn't, so I'm sorry for that. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna have to find a multiplayer gameplay before I can make this review full with the video, so just heads up on that. Okay, guys, so let's start the actual review. Let's start with the good. The good about this game, let's start with controls first. Controls for this game are pretty solid. You got your left Z elbow in the like aim down sight or zoom in, Z R to shoot, L's your gadget, R's to mark target, X is to execute in single player, and assassinate in multiplayer. Um, right stick push in actually I don't know where right stick push is gonna do it exactly. Uh, left stick push in is um crouch Sideways on D-pad and single player switches weapons down on D-pad switches to your primary weapon and sideways on the D left on the D-pad switches to your alternate weapon and up does your like goggle sight so night vision sonar EMF stuff like that um, B is to crouch and Y is to reload controls are pretty simple that way uh, if you're used to playing Call of Duty you're not gonna be used to them for a while it's gonna take a while but play the tutorial of the game and you probably um get used to it pretty fast actually I did. Oh yeah, A is sprint. Uh, that's the one problem I have. The controls you use A to sprint, but the thing like with Conduit Two was you had to use A to sprint and right stick to move around. So you had to have the thumb on A stick and the left index finger on the right stick. Didn't like that. This game to actually move around when sprinting, you use the left stick. So you hold down A and like with your right thumb, left thumb, you just move around the move around. So it's pretty good. So gameplay, um, it's pretty smooth. Moving from cover to cover in single player as Sam Fisher is really, really, really good. Um, the way the enemies detect you and the way you can take them out and the way the skill tree works where like you have ghost points, um, panther points and uh, combat points. Ghost points is knocking out enemies without alerting them. Panther points is killing enemies without alerting them. And combat points is killing enemies when they are alerted to you and shooting the shit out of you. Uh, try not to go for those. Try to get the ghost points are highest, panther points are uh, middle, and um, combat points are lowest. Um... So this is for single player. For multiplayer, the gameplay is pretty fluid itself. I prefer playing as a spy over a merc just because of the goggles and the advantage they give you. But um, playing as a spy is pretty good. You got your cover base system, your guns, uh, your EMF, your sonar, and your night vision. Are your three visions, I believe. I, I don't know. I think the fourth one. I think there's a fourth one. I forget what it is. Um, you got behind cover hacking the... Game modes are hacking, where spies hack, mercs defend, um, mercs try to steal information, spies try to uh, defend it. I f uplink, I don't really, I've never played it, no one ever plays it. It's the weekly challenge though, so I'm hoping to play it so I can get that 40 you play points. And team deathmatch, which is just simple people, mixed teams, and stuff like that. Um, I, as I said before, spying, prefer to play as a spy over a merc, but when it's a huge lobby, merc over spy, playing with um, UAV. Because uh, the drone's awesome and uh, stuff like that. Yeah, co op is pretty good. I played some with my friend Justin. Uh, shout out to Justin. And uh, it's basically there's different co op missions which you can play single player. Some require co op, but you can play them single player as well if your friends are offline. And uh, they range from like fighting waves off to hacking information or planting uh, bugs. So that's the good, the bad. As I said in the multiplayer before, it's kind of hard to find a match. Uh, it, for games that are like 4v4, it requires you to at least have 3v3. So, trying to get en enough people in the lobby without people quitting. It's basically like wager matches on Black Ops 1 right now. Or like, if you try to find Sick and Stones, it could take a while. It, it sucks that way. Um, in the campaign, there are some spots where it actually is unfair. Like, you could die and respawn, and you're like, okay, I know the path, and then all the soldiers are in different positions. You're like, fuck, how do I get through here again? Um, dogs are annoying as fuck 
And um, my major concern with the game, and this is really bad, I, I hate this fact of the game, is the load times are incredibly long. Like just going onto the Paladin from the multiplayer, just Paladin loading up takes about a minute. I'm doing it right now. It's been about 30 seconds, still hasn't fully loaded. Um, so that's with the bad. Let's get back a little bit into the good. Um, things I just remembered. Um, your main ship, like I said, the Paladin, it's uh, your home base. It's where you spawn in, like Moga Village and Monster Hunter 3U. It's where you spawn in. From there, you can look, update the SMI where you can choose your next mission, your next 4E co-op missions, or your multiplayer. But there's also things where you can upgrade the Paladin for campaign mode, where you can upgrade the cockpit so you have Chisim enemies on your minimap. Um... Charlie's factory so you get more upgraded weapons and gadgets um, Medical bay so like your health is increased uh, The holding cell where this like black market guy is that you're holding and it's helping you out He'll like tell you about more black market weapons so that you can buy uh, And many more upgrades to the ship which is a really cool system I actually really do like it and um, the SMI is pretty smooth um, You got your main mission is red your four E missions are blue and they're just spies versus mercs right there You can actually access your friends list even when you're not actually logged logged into online Which is cool. So you can join friends you can send invites over to anyone even if they're in the co-op or um, campaign So if you want to invite someone and if they decline don't send keep sending them invites They probably don't want to play with you. So stop sending them invites um, Bold man I'm talking to you golden eye same um Right now, oh yeah, the money system. You buy guns like Call of Duty Black Ops 1 with money that you earn either in solo play. Yes, you can actually earn a shit a ton of money more in solo play. Like the normal campaign mission, you can earn like 100000 probably easy, which is awesome for guns, for both single player and multiplayer. Uh, you can actually customize your um, Sam Fisher, Spy, and Merc in the SMI, which is really cool. Um, you got for Spot, for campaign, for, Mr. for F Sam Fisher... You can upload, you got three um, loadouts, you can update them. You can get th all three unlocked by uploading the, I forget what it's called. You got gadgets like sticky noisemaker, sticky camera, EMP, tri rotors, tear gas, and all that stuff. Like different goggles like footprint tracking, colorized imaging, uh, op suits for like defense or stealth, pistols, alternate weapons, and special weapons. Uh, for spies, you got the same bad thing, and like mercs, you got better guns and uh, more armor. So anyway, guys, that's it for my review right now. Uh, expect some game. Expect this review sometime by the end of the week. I'm hoping. Uh, I go to school on Thursday actually, um, for like three hours just to like get my schedule and stuff and like put some stuff in my locker, and uh, then I actually go back to school on September 3rd. And uh, Sunday, I'm going to Yankee Stadium to see Yankees play the Orioles uh, for my birthday. You know, my birthday is Saturday, but who cares? I'm still gonna go to Yankee Stadium to see the Orioles play on the Yankees, and that's gonna be awesome. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll record some vlog videos there. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. My name is Luffy M2. And, um, yeah, I hope I get that gameplay soon. I might actually just record some campaign. Who knows? Uh, peace out. Hope you enjoy this.